Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some amazing hidden features that you will be able to find on iOS 15. Now I know iOS 15 is not that popular amongst iOS users and the fact that Apple will actually let you skip iOS 15 and keep iOS 14 on your device I think will make a lot of people not install this update on their device, especially on older devices. But in this video, I will show you guys some amazing features that are actually very, very useful that you can find on iOS 15 and maybe even change your mind when it comes to installing or not iOS 15 on your device. Now, before we get into that, make sure to smash the like button. That helps out a lot. And of course, we'll make this video do much, much better. All right, first off, we're talking about auto brightness. Now, whenever I do videos, I have to turn auto brightness off and it's a real pain. So you will have to go to settings, then go to accessibility, go to display and text size, scroll all the way down and they will find auto brightness. But now with iOS 15, you can do that using Siri without having to open the settings app at all. Just ask Siri to do that. Turn on auto brightness. And it just can, you can see right there, auto brightness now will be turned on automatically and that using Siri. Of course, you can turn it off as well. On the files app, you know that we have tags. So basically you add tags to your files so that you can easier find them. But for colorblind people, that's just useless. Of course, they won't notice the colors and won't know which tag they have on which file. But what you can do is go to settings, go to accessibility, go to display and text size and enable differenti differentiate without color. Now, what this does is that it will turn those into shapes. So you can see now you have colors, but you also have different shapes. So now if you're colorblind, you can go ahead and just identify the tags by using the shapes that will be displayed right here. One of the new widgets on iOS 15 is the contact widget that will let you have a contact on your home screen or even four. And that of course, go ahead and contact them directly from there without having to go to the contacts or to the phone app. But did you know that if you just tap on it and you have like conversations, different stuff that you have shared with that contact, it will display right here everything that you have basically done with that contact. So you can see we have messages, and we can go search that in the app directly from here. We have mail, we have shared links, and we have FaceTime, and of course the contact info right there. Of course, you will have all the useful buttons right there at the top, but you will also find all the different stuff that you have actually shared with that contact directly from here. And you need some, you just tap on it, and it will take you right to that conversation or email that you have shared with that contact. Now this right here is a great feature that is coming to iOS 15 on the Maps app. It didn't pop up for me yet on iOS 15, currently on beta 3 here, but I'm not seeing this. But a lot of people have reported this on Reddit, probably will be rolling out in the next few days to all the users. So basically, you will be able to find your car that is parked, even though it might not have an integrated Bluetooth, but just a Bluetooth device. So, you know, with the Maps app, when you park your car and you disconnect from the Bluetooth of your car or CarPlay, then the maps will actually mark that as your parking location. But if you don't have a car that has Bluetooth or CarPlay, then that won't work. But with iOS 15, if you have just a device that has Bluetooth, like there are like some devices that will add Bluetooth connectivity to your car. If you have one of those, then you will be able to actually find your parked car, even though it doesn't have Bluetooth or CarPlay. If you have PDF files saved on your files app, then you will be able, of course, to view them and scroll through the pages like this. But if it has a ton of pages, that will be harder. But what you can do here is just tap right there at the numbers of the pages or just swipe like this. It will show you a preview of the PDF file. You can easily move between pages. So just like that, move on any page that you want. You will also have the ability to 3D touch there and you can rotate these pages, insert a blank page or insert from another file, which is really great. All of that directly from the view right here. Now, what you can do also 
on like different PDF files that you might have ones that are really important and maybe contain like documents that are important and you want to keep them private, just tap the share button and you will be able to log that PDF file. Just tap right there and enter any passcode you want. Of course, verify the passcode and you will log that PDF file on iOS 15. Now, if you have a PDF file that actually contains links on it, what you can do on iOS 15 is simply tap on any part, maybe it's a website or something like that, and you can see it will actually open that website for you as easy as that. This one is very, very useful. So if you have like different PDF files that contain like a lot of stuff, links and stuff like that, you can just tap on that part and it will ask you if you want to open that on Safari. Editing alarms on iOS 15 is really easy. So previously you had to go to the clock app, of course, go to the alarms, tap the edit button and tap on the alarm to actually edit or modify that alarm. With iOS 15, all you have to do is just tap on the alarm and you will go straight to the editing page of that alarm. The spotlight search of iOS 15 will let you delete any app you want. You just search for any app there and you will be able to actually delete it directly from here. You just 3D touch on the app, it shows a 3D touch menu and you can go ahead and just delete it directly from here without having to search it on the app library or just move around on the home screen to find the app to delete. Not just delete apps, you can also install new apps directly from the Spotlight search. So you just search for any app that you want without having to go to the App Store and you will get the button right there to download that app to your device. It's as easy as that. Download any app directly from the Spotlight search. If you're composing an email on iOS 15 and you need to attach a file and you have a file right here on the files app, what you can do is just go ahead and drag it like this and just move to the mail app and just release it just like that. The easiest way to add any file you want to the emails, you can do that with pictures as well or even notes, anything that you can drag, even a text, you just drag out of any app and you can release it right here on any email you want, or maybe even an iMessage. Another thing you can do on iOS 15 is actually drag tabs. Now here we have a few tabs, so I can just go ahead and drag this like this, and I can release it on Chrome. So let's say I wanna open that link on Chrome, as easy as that. Just move from right here from Safari, just drag it like this from the address bar, and I can just go ahead and release this right here on the Chrome app. As easy as that, you can share links, you can open links on any other browser, or you can just send them maybe on an email, save it on your notes app, simply by dragging it out of Safari. When you're on Safari and you have a bunch of tabs opened here, you can of course go to this grid view and take a look at, at all of your tabs. Now you can do that from this button or what you can do is just pinch in like this and it will show you a preview of course will go to the tab switcher right here as easy as that. So just pinch in like this and you're good to go. Now this right here is in my opinion one of the most underrated features of iOS 15. The ability to change the size of the text on any app individually and that very very easy. So when you're within an app like we're here on the notes app just drag down the control center tap right here and you will be able to change the size of the text on that app. Now if you want to you can just switch right here from notes only to all apps and as you can see right now this will affect all the apps that are on your iPhone but of course you can do that individually for each app that you have opened. Now another cool thing on iOS is of course the integration of Shazam now it's music recognition right on the control center of your device but previously on iOS 14 you could basically just search for songs but they won't be saved anywhere. With iOS 15, if you 3D touch here, it will show you the history of the songs that you have found using the Shazam feature, music recognition on iOS 15. So we'll see the complete history right here. And of course, you can also delete any one that you want to remove from your list. Now this one right here is pretty cool. The calendar widget on iOS 15 is very useful. It will show you the upcoming events. So you will have the todays, the tomorrows and the day after tomorrow. So you can see right here we have three events and if I tap on one of them, it will take me directly to that event. So you can basically choose which event you want to open directly from here, which is actually very, very useful. 
And last but not least, we have the all new weather app on iOS 15. Now, notifications for the weather app on iOS 15 are amazing and they work really, really good. What you have to do here is just tap the three lines right here to go to the list view of the cities here and then tap the three dots and you will see here a list of things. You can just tap notifications and you can go ahead and turn on notifications for any of the cities that you have on your list and for your location as well. So basically we'll send you notifications when it will start training. It tells you when it will stop, of course, when it's supposed to stop snowing, like maybe starting to snow, thunderstorm, stuff like that, everything for your location or any of the other locations, you will get a notifications from the, from the weather app on iOS 15. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are some of the amazing features that you will find on iOS 15, of course, if you decided to install on your device. A pretty cool update, not many huge new features, but most of the features that have been added are actually very, very useful. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.